Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Queenie, for those who don't know me, reviewing, I almost said Merida First Sight. What show is this? Um, Whatever show. Before I get into it, please make sure to like this video, subscribe and hit the bell and leave a comment down below. Now I'm wondering when Merida First Sight comes back because Love Island, I'm bored, I'm so bored, but it's fine. Joey and Jesse leave the terrace and Joey doesn't want the kiss to be exposed. Let's go. Now. Yeah. I mean, that's just between me and you, though, isn't it? We don't have to say anything. Uh huh. Uh, can we like this? Wait. What, what do we do now? I don't know. If he kisses her, no. we would never speak again. No, no. Swear. Guys, that's it. Here's the thing with Love Island there are no secrets, and we know Joey wanted this to go out. Like, please. He was the first one to tell people. I think he told two people. And then Jesse told somebody else, and then he went to that person and was like, don't tell nobody. And then the next day, Jesse went and told Jesse. I said, oh my gosh, y'all, come on. <laughs> like, I'm glad that they exposed it now so we could kind of see the end of this Joey, Grace, Jesse saga. I don't know if it's over for real, for real, but according to Grace, it's over. We will see. Um, if you didn't say it now, it was probably gonna come out on movie night if they have movie night this year. But do you guys think movie night will even be that effective? Because for the most part, people have been calling each other out on what has been said. So mm, I don't really, I think the only thing that really would have hit, no, that wouldn't have hit either. I was gonna say when Jess flipped Ronnie's words, but Harriet, after talking to Ronnie, didn't even believe Jess. So I, yeah, there might not be a movie night this year, guys. We need some kind of drama. And I know this is bad because like mental health and I want drama though. Can't lie to you. I do. It is kind of funny to me how Joey is playing in Grace's face because as we know, seven days ago, Grace was in Jesse's position and she wanted to pretend like she didn't know what was going on. How could Sam be upset? You know, like I'm a girl's girl. I'm looking out for you, girl. You were never looking out for Samantha. You were never looking out for her. So why would Jesse look out for you? <laughs> Moving on. Nicole talks to Harriet and Matilda. She wants to have a chat with them and Jess. Yeah. And honestly, I'm with Harriet. If I don't, I don't want to talk to you. I'm gonna just get up and walk away. I think Jesse was very, it was very, it, very heated. Yeah. What I won't have anyone saying is that I was the reason for that. No I one said that. You no. did. You said that I got him to repeat it in front of everybody. It wasn't. It was you. No, 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 I, I didn't. I that. said you acted on because you did. Like I, I, I honestly, I, I don't even want to have this. This anything. is why I can't deal with her. She gives, 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 and the minute she gets it back, she goes and does that. I'm not being spoken to like that. I don't care. I am glad that Jess made the comment about Matilda because in my opinion, Matilda made it worse than Jess did. Like Jess wasn't the only one laughing, but of course, if Jess laughs at Harriet, it makes it sting more. And we know that Jess, whatever vendetta she has with Harriet is so weird. But anyways, she was always gonna laugh in the situation, but she wasn't the only one laughing in the situation. Matilda definitely egged it on. Harriet felt like she was open to the conversation as long as it was a conversation and not a confrontation, which is what Jess tried to make it. And so Harriet was like, you know what? I'm not gonna sit here and take it. And I'm okay with that. We know that Harriet is not about that life, okay? She will say something, get her feelings hurt, and then start to cry. If you know you are prone to feeling overwhelmed with those kind of situations, remove yourself. Easy peasy, remove yourself. I was here for it. And then Jess is like, you see, she was coming at me. She was coming at you? When? I didn't, I didn't see that, but. Okay, girl, we know she lives in her own delusion. As everyone is getting ready for bed, um, in the bed, Karen says that he is scared about where things are going or he's like worried about Nicole. He said something along those lines. And I was thinking, where is this going? He then says, I love you. I'm sure he does. I'm sure he feels like he does. But I hope that he has been taking note of how Nicole has been and realizes that this is not gonna change now that you guys are like together for real, for real. It, it quite possibly will only be amplified. So I hope you're ready for that, Karen. Um, she responds by saying, I love you, of course. Like 
She was not not going to say that. Then they kiss and damn near everybody in the villa was kissing that night. The only people who didn't kiss were like Mimi and Io, um, Grace and Connor. And there was one other couple that didn't kiss. Harriet and Ronnie. But everybody else, they be kissing child. Then in the morning, uh, Joey brings coffee for Jesse. And then as an afterthought, he sends some tea for Grace. Grace did not like that. Eventually, Ronnie ended up drinking the tea. We also have Joey who is saying he doesn't understand why Grace is having this negative reaction because he has said he's open. He said he wants to explore, blah, 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 whatever. Like, I don't know how this man has gotten away with acting obtuse for so long, but he has his script and he is sticking to it. Okay, Jesse tells Jess about the kiss in bed, which is actually their third kiss, if I'm counting correctly, because they had the kiss on the terrace, then they had a kiss on the bed before going to bed, and then had a kiss in bed. So yeah, these two, it's giving deja vu, okay? I personally don't remember Joey saying that it was only friendship between him and Jesse. However, that is the impression that Grace has. So she's wondering like, why is he moving like this? And they said that you told her I'm just a friend and she's priority. There is a romantic connection there. In my eyes, there is. I mean, I can't, I just, I'm just, I, look, I ain't doing nothing wrong. I don't feel like I'm doing anything wrong. You know, I get she's a bombshell and she's come in to pick someone. Obviously, I've been having the most chats with Joey. Like, surely as a girl, you would just do that. Do you know what I mean? I found it extremely comical that these girls want to say that Jessie is not a girl's girl. Tired of that phrase. Let's start there. <laughs> Tired of that phrase. But as a bombshell, you have to do what you have to do. And Jesse been doing it, okay? Like, I thought Grace came in and did the damn thing. Jesse said, hold my drink, okay? Hold my drink. And she did what she had to do. She has no loyalty to you. So yeah, she's not gonna seem like a girl's girl to you. And it is rich for Grace of all people to say she's not a girl's girl because a, a girl's girl wouldn't kiss them on the terrace and wouldn't infiltrate what we have going on. Sorry, sorry. Was it not seven days ago? You did the same thing. And at least Jesse had the audacity. I mean, Jesse, <laughs> not the audacity, yeah. Jesse had the courtesy to kiss him out of your line of sight. You had the audacity to kiss him with the potential of Samantha seeing you. You played in Samantha's face. Joey's playing in yours. You just gotta take a girl. So Jesse takes Grace for a chat and everyone is feeling kind of tense because the news of the kiss has been going around and it was supposed to be Joey who told Grace, but Jesse decided to say it instead. Where did you kiss? On the terrace? Yeah. And in bed. Don't mean to be disrespectful to you, but like, I feel like you've come in. Oh, it seems yeah. to be this like shiny little new thing. Doesn't really know how to act. I'll speak to you after. Don't come over. He's just not, he's not helping himself. He never does. As a girl, I wouldn't have kissed him, knowing the situation. Well, like, I thought you, you had a saw, conversation. No, but babe, was... you saw me yesterday with him. Like, I don't okay. know. That's well, between you, you and him. Yeah, I don't thank you for telling me. Be... That obviously, this is done. Grace, last night, yeah? I did nothing wrong, yeah? We don't need to carry on speaking about anything. That's fine. Good luck. I wish you the best. Okay. And yeah. Well, hello, Grace. It's nice to see you in your full form. Mm, this is the Grace that I've been expecting to see. When Samantha was around, she was giving like nice nasty. So we know that there's a bite when it comes to Grace. This, I, listen, be, be you, baby. So in this conversation, she is realizing that whatever Joy was telling her was a farce. Um, I don't know what Joy's intention was for telling her, you know what? Now that I think about it, um, if we're to assume that Joey is a producer plant, which he absolutely is, he was likely not getting the public favor that he was supposed to get or um, that the producers anticipated him getting. And so it made sense for him to latch onto somebody who wasn't going to be vulnerable in the next vote. That's my hypothesis. It could be true, could not be true. Um, I think that his connection with Grace seemed a lot more natural up until this episode i felt like it seemed a lot more natural i think that great um jesse was just the new like plaything and also was a safety net for him yeah i i don't know anyways the point is 
Grace is tired of Joey playing in her face. So she tells him, listen, I'm done. It's, it's done. And he's like, what's the big deal? Joey, stop. <laughs> like, the jig is up, okay? The jig is up. I hope that Grace is going to stand on business. If you said it's done, let it be done. I don't know now if she's going to shift her attention onto Connor. I don't think that she would. But at least going into Casa Amor, she's going to have a great time. A grand old time. Grace and Casa Amor? That girl is... I can see why Nicole is always flipping out over Grace. Like, the girl is stunning. She's going to clean house. I believe she's going to clean house in Casa Amor. Sean and Matilda talk about their love for making out. I am really struggling to see the chemistry between these two. I feel like we got quite close last night. <laughs> Wanted coming back for more, did ya? <laughs> Would've just carried on snogging you for I ages. I do like that, though. Do you? I love a neck kiss. Yeah. Nipple sock. Is it? Like, you know, like, foreplay when it's, like, long and, like, you're, like, yeah. ready to, like, bust? <laughs> I feel like we're going in the right direction, <laughs> one-way street. <laughs> the way that I see this connection it's as if Matilda knows that Sean is the type of guy she should go for, and so she's leaning in. I would like to see what she looks like when somebody sparks her interest right off the bat. I think that Sean was a good option considering who was there, but who does she naturally gravitate towards? I feel like it wouldn't be somebody like Sean. So I'm interested to see what Casa Amor um, has to offer for Matilda. I... I don't see this couple making it in the long run. And she claims that she likes the nice guy, but does she like this nice guy? Don't think so. Mimi asks Io if he still wants to explore. And I don't know if I was just choosing not to hear it, but I felt like he didn't really answer the question. Are you still in the mindset of exploring situations? The thing is, I don't think about that because that's not what I want to do. Do you think it depends on who, who the person is that would walk in? I don't, I really don't know, you know. Like, that's if that happens. I'm happy here. I don't know why I can't just be happy where I'm at now. No, you can be. When the time comes, or if that comes, or if it doesn't come, you're going to know where I stand. To me, Ayo, he would be such a good politician. He toes the fence so well. And you know, Mimi's just gonna go along with it. She's like, you know, well, we're, we're not doing the titles thing. You know, it is what it is. We'll go with the flow, girl, go with the flow. If somebody who was your cup of tea comes in to, into Casa more, I need you to do your big one, okay? I need you to act a fool. I need you to get your lick back because, man, I just wanna see her, you know, have her moment. But she's like, I know where home is. Home is Io. Good God. <laughs> like, I want to believe in this coupling. It's just that Io has given me PTSD. I know that Mimi is in it, and if she's in it, I'm in it. But girl, as soon as you're out, I'll be out too. Now we have Joey and um, Jesse. Of course, Grace is no longer in the picture. I would be insulted if I was Grace and I witnessed this conversation. You're hiding. Let me give you a kiss. You summer sharks, yeah? Mm. What, great whites? Bought my dad a holiday to do that. No way. Sent him away to South Africa to go into the Did to he the do sea, it? Yeah. What about your mum? My mum passed away when I was 10. Is your, um, is your mum and dad married? They dad know. Dad proposed after eight months. No way. Yeah, wow. That's why you're a hopeless romantic. You're like a really sweet girl. Well, really? Hmm. I'm pretty sure that Joey has talked about his parents passing to Grace at some point, especially because he said he didn't really talk about it until he reached his 30s. And so in the amount of time that he has known Grace, it had to have come up at some point. So fair and fine. But Grace said, this man doesn't even ask me about my family. Yet in two days, he has asked Jesse about her family. They've talked about family dynamics. They've talked about like, it, it seems to me like they have talked about deeper stuff in a shorter amount of time. I would be so insulted, so insulted. But then again, I'm also thinking like, Grace had pinpointed the, the, the holes in their relationship and then still wanted to go for it. So I'm just like, if you knew this man was a waste man from the outside and now again in the inside, what are we even kicking off for? You know what I'm saying? Um, if you really were a priority, he would have just treated you as one and he hasn't. And then now to see him connecting 
so much deeper, so much quicker with somebody else. And I guess, well, the only grace that I will give, the only grace I will give grace is that they met on holiday. And typically holiday is supposed to be just like, you know, you bang and you dash, right? So, mm, mm. anyways, who cares? That story is over. So let's move on. In the evening, um, the results of the vote come out and the bottom couples are Grace and Connor, Harriet and Ronnie and Uma and Will. Now, the couple with the least amount of votes is Harriet and Ronnie and they are immediately dubbed. I will say I did not see that one coming. I did not think that of the three bottom couples they would go. I definitely thought uh, Grace and Connor so were people just voting for Grace? Because I don't think Connor has that much support on the outside. So yeah, I guess people really weren't rocking with Ronnie's actions. I would love to see how he responds to um, the questioning on After Sun. I don't see this couple making it even to the fall. I'd be surprised if they're together at After Sun. I feel like whenever this relationship dissolves, it's going to be some excuse like, oh, well, the distance got in between us or our schedules were just so busy. It's always the same story. Yeah, these two are not going to make it. But Casa Amor is on the way. Thank God. Thank God. Um, I hope they bring in some heavy hitters, you know. Yeah, I want to see some real competition in Casa, mainly for the girls. I want to see some some good men come in here for the girls. The guys, I, I I think they've had a good run. You know, they had Matilda, they had uh, Grace, they had Jesse, they had Uma. Like the guys are fine. Bring in some guys for the girls. Thank you very much. Anyways, as always, please make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I will see you in the next one.